And you know what's so cool about, you know, I do potatoes. When you grow potatoes, they have to hill dirt over them because they, they expose right. themselves. I don't hill in my but wood chips because the wood chips are light and they lift. And they plus, don't fall off. Plus, plus they can go down too, right? You know, it's, I'm just telling you, the, the cover, this covering is so incredible, the design. It's just like, awesome. And here we, as intelligent human beings, go to school and read books and don't get it. Rip it off, till the ground, do all this stuff and go backwards and never get it when it's all out there in front of us just to observe and get. It's just, I mean, it's so, it's so cool. Hey, Paul. Yes. You were just talking about your potatoes. Can you explain your process for planting and harvesting? And yeah. Plant, the potatoes is a lot. Is potatoes, by the way, for all you who are here, we're living in times that aren't, aren't really stable. And, and, and for survival food, that would be the first of the list because it will feed you the whole year and it's powerful food. In spite of what they're telling you in books, okay. it's incredible food when it's growing well. The reason why it's not good, and everybody listen to me, don't you dare buy any root vegetable, any root vegetable from the store. Root vegetables today are loaded with heavy metals and poison. Because farmers who use chemical fertilizers and herbicides intentionally plant carrots, beets, potatoes to clean their fields up of the heavy metals so they can grow stuff. The root vegetables pull everything out of the ground and they store it in their tissue, the roots. So all root vegetables mm. are loaded with all the what's ever in the ground. And when it's heavy metals, that's what's there. So don't buy any root vegetable in the store because it's totally poisonous. So when I do potatoes, the farmers will till deep because they have to because they're planting deep. Then as the potato grows, they have to water because the ground dries out. And then they have to hill dirt over it. And then next year they got to plant somewhere else because if they plant in the same place, they become scabby and not usable. I've been planting potatoes in the same place now for 26 years, the same potatoes. <laughs> and my approach is so cool, I get on, my ground, on the ground, and I wish I could do it because it's so, so fun to watch. I just, with my hands, I pull the plant up with my hands, no, no tool, it's not poking holes in it, because the ground moves. With my hands, I move the wood, and I take out these gorgeous, clean potatoes, because they weren't even dirt, they're not dirty, they're clean. And so when I get to the bottom of the hole, I take my very biggest and best potato, are you hearing me? The biggest and the best and put back in the bottom of the hole and I cover it and I plant it and harvest the same day. Just the, the whole potato. The whole potato. And here's why. You were told, and he just brought it up, he's saying the whole potato because you were told to cut potatoes and plant small pieces. And put the eye, one eye in. You know the insanity of that? And you see, this is why we were given an owner's manual and we're not paying attention to it. In the owner's manual, we're told the importance of giving the best back. The Israelites, when they came to Israel, God says, if you'll give me first fruits every year, I'll bless you. It's the same in agriculture. If you put your very biggest and best back, you get more. Do the math. When a potato grows, it, it grows shoots out from the little eyes that are in it. So the more eyes you have, the more shoots you get. As the potato grows, it's feeding on the potato. So if you put the biggest back, the more eyes, the more you're going to get more back. The math is very simple. But we went to school. And we had our minds erased so we don't think. And we do what we're told. It's insanity. You know, people look at my garlic and says, where you get well, I plant my biggest back ever. I take my very best and plant my, uh, my very best seeds, my biggest whatever. I take seed from that and plant back. Duh, first fruits. Yeah. Get, get, it's all given to this owner's man. And if you go to school, you get your mind erased and you don't even think. <sighs> and so what's so cool about that, I mean, I did my, my harvesting planting in several minutes. It was all fun. And I'm done for the rest of the year. I won't water. I won't heal. I'll do nothing next year. Do a pick a harvest. It's just so fun. And this is in wood chips, or this is in composed, in wood, in wood in chips, de decomposed. And wood and chips. and then if I if I feel my place is getting um, decomposed and broken down uh, in the fall, I'll add a layer over that stuff I planted, so I have a good covering. Every fall is is the ideal time to to add, okay. because things will do break down, and so I'll, I'll add some more. But what's so cool is I'm planting in the same place now. For I bought potatoes 26 years ago. I have seven children who are all adults now, healthy, good, you know, children, adults. I've been feeding for 26 years. I'm still eating the same potatoes. <laughs> and you see, this, this, but this, this, this is, this just shows the nature of God. And He tells you right there in Genesis that He says, "All the food I made for you, vegetables and fruits, bear seed after their it's own kind." kind. Yeah. And that just shows shows His heart. 
He's so generous. Once you have food with semi-diligence, you will have free food for the rest of your life because it produces the seed after its own kind. And see, that's why hybrid and genetically modified is totally anti-God, totally diabolic, because they do not produce seed after one kind, and once you have those, you're subject to those people to, to get seed. Right. And you're cut off from God. I'm just telling you, man, it's, you, we gotta wake up. The spirit realm is reality, you know? And, um, and, 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 and this is, you see, this, look at this. See, that, that, that thing's full of seed. And so I'll let the very biggest, get the very biggest one I have, and I'll collect seed from it, and plant it back every year, you know? Going back to potatoes real quick. When, because you plant and harvest the same day, when's the first time that you can go out and grab a new, newly grown potato, and when's the last time? Depending on the variety, reds, you can do it very quickly. And as soon as the potato blooms, as soon as you get a flower, you can start harvesting. They'll be small, but you can harvest them. Now, the red ones happen really quick. And if you don't get after them, because they'll get so big and they'll get hollow, you can't even use them. So you got to use them quick. But the other, some varieties will take longer. So depending on the variety, it depends on how quick you can, you can harvest. But as soon as a, as a potato blooms, you can start harvesting. And then when do you, when can you, or when do you stop harvesting them? So like, can I pick them in February? You could. Now I, I, I kind of like things in February. I don't go out in the, in, in the cold. So like I, I put all mine and all in boxes. So I usually harvest by now, have them all out. So they're in boxes accessible. Cause you can leave them in the ground all year. They're fine.